the dark cells of the Dakshai jail can still make you feel a little uneasy. Thousands of prisoners were locked away, punished, tortured and even killed here during the British days. It was called a no escape jail as no prisoner could ever escape from here. The Dakshai jail was built in 1849 under the supervision of British army officer Robert Napier. Napier had also selected the exact location for this jail in Dakshai. During this jail's history of almost 100 years, many known people were also kept here, like the Irish revolutionary leader James Daly, Komagata Maru leaders, Boer War POWs, and Nathuram Godse. Daly, who was private in the 1st Battalion of the Connaught Rangers, was executed here. He was shot dead by a firing squad in 1920 for being part of the mutiny by Irish soldiers against the British. Even Mahatma Gandhi had spent a night in this jail to show his solidarity with the Irish cause. After independence, the jail was closed and came under the army. It remained a dump yard for the military engineering services for decades till Anand Sethi. This is not a standard civilian jail. An IIT Bombay alumnus and a local resident persuaded the army in 2010 to convert this historic place into a museum. After army gave his nod, Sethi worked ceaselessly for a year and the Doug Shai Jail Museum was opened for public in 2011. And now, let's step inside with Anand Sethi, the creator of this museum. He's going to reveal to us, step by step, all the dark secrets this place had kept hidden. Built in a T-shape, this jail has 54 cells, while 27 cells are in a horizontal plane, the rest 27 in the vertical plane for solitary confinements. The second entrance door, second of the only three that we have. Now this is fascinating. Look at this. With steel bolts. So come, we are now going past the second level. Again, steel impregnated wood. There was no way anybody could have picked these locks. This is the first cell block. Here you have the cells. You can go inside one typical cell. Now, this is a typical cell. Would have housed four or five prisoners for purposes of toilet. There are uh, boxes. So they would have been lying on that side. Prisoners were let out for one hour every day in the evening to walk around. So they would take their toilet uh, pans, go clean them, bring them back. Fascinating is the internal ventilation. Ventilation? Yeah. That's it. After the wardens had locked the place at night, only communication to the outside world would be through this barred portal. The warden would come, move the flap and then speak inside. The records that we have found in the UK seem to indicate that this particular cell housed the last known occupant of this jail. A gentleman, rather infamous with the name of Nathuram Godse. Before he was brought to Simla for trial from Delhi, he was kept in this jail. Now you will see these metal hooks we found there was no electricity when the jail was made. And these were used uh, for illumination. We have simulated this by, you know, buying these. There is a gap between the outer cell grill and the big door inside. And we had not known what it was. I think about eight years ago, I was contacted by a gentleman from England, a fellow called Alan Reed. He then sent me information that his grandfather, a soldier in the uh, British Army here, posted, was actually the one person who had received the maximum number of punishments in this jail. This gentleman received punishments called bread and water punishment. They were punishments given that you stood behind in the gap between the two doors. All you got was bread and water for the duration of that punishment. That punishment could be few hours, could be one day, could be multiple days. 
During British days, because the worst prisoners were kept on this block, there was no illumination, they were kept in the dark. So okay. I'm going to put it off so you know how bad we've just lost electricity. <laughs> Thank you. Mahatma Gandhi was in Ambala. He said, I want to go and meet the Irish boys. So Mahatma Gandhi was offered accommodation outside. But he said, no, I want to stay where the Irish people are. So as you will see, this is like a VVIP cell. It has a fireplace, the only one in the complex. First of all, as you can see, two rooms. And only one door in this whole place which leaves outside. TMP. This is the torture and punishment cell. They may have put this on the shoulder and tied. Let's go back outside. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel. And until the next time, keep traveling and keep exploring.